Accessibility video. Hello, welcome to latest video on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. Today Ricky is going to go through all the accessibility settings I have. Enjoy the video and remember to subscribe to Tech Talk UK. Over to you, Ricky. Even before you begin, there is an option of an accessibility shortcut that you can use the two volume keys when pressed together will turn on the talk back feature that's introduced my video. So simply pressing and holding the two volume keys together here at the side. Voice assistant on. Voice assistant is now on, so I can touch and highlight anything on my tablet here. It will then dictate whatever is highlighted. The current location, Prince's Risborough, current temperature minus minus one degree, snow, weather, updated 0102536, double tap for more information. So that is the accessibility shortcut there and it's a great feature and that will work straight away. So you don't have to go through the settings to actually get into the accessibility options. You can use that straight from the beginning. Also, when you first buy your Samsung Tab S4, they do have a great range of accessibility right at the beginning when you first boot up your device for the first time. So to turn this off, again, press and hold volume keys voice assistant off so now that is off what we need to do is go into settings so pull down and you're going to see all of your applications here the one you want is settings and it's a blue gear icon so my text is a lot bigger compared to what yours is going to be but i can show you how to change that now so we go all the way down to the bottom fifth from bottom one two three four, five is accessibility. It's a little green man with his arms and legs spread out. So we're going to hit accessibility and inside here, you're going to see a great range of settings and options to change and make this device easier for you, no matter your disability, which is a really good thing to see here from Samsung. The first option at the very top, which is key for me is vision. So inside vision, you have dedicated amount of settings here. Again, same for hearing and then dexterity and interaction. So looking at vision at the top here, first of all, you have voice assistant to so go inside here and toggle this on again this is the assistant you've just heard before voice assistant on when voice assistant is on your tablet provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users so this will highlight everything to you so with the menu next to us here you can scroll through with two fingers showing items 3 to 15 of 17. So with voice assistant there is a great feature. It works very well with this tablet. I've used it quite a lot. Maneuvering around the device and also getting key highlights from up here at the top as well. 11, 12, 74%. So it will let you know what is your battery, it let you know your time. It can also read notifications as well. So when voice assistant is on, these top options are available. So you have the option of voice assistant help and you can get help. You've got dark screen as well. This is where the screen just goes blank but it will read everything to you as always and you've got rapid key inputs as well. Voice assistant is a very powerful tool for people that have low vision or no vision at all. They can still use this tablet to get information that they may need and enjoy their tablet as well as everyone else. As you can see here the dark screen and the rapid key input is now not usable and that's because you need the voice assistant on. So coming down underneath is font and screen zoom so if we go into here you can see you've got an example here there's a couple of examples and you can change. Also, you can have even larger text as well. So you toggle this option, it can go even larger. So it can go really large and really easy to see, depending on your choice as well. Like for me, I've had mine larger depending on my choice. And also you can change the screen zoom as well. Also down here, you've got different fonts that you can use and then also download more as well. So a really good range of options here. You then have high contrast fonts. So if I toggle this off, you can see that it's not so bold once toggled on, turn on, it's a lot bolder and a lot easier to see. Underneath that, you've got high contrast keyboard. So if we go into here, you can turn this on, first of all, we're gonna hit turn on. And as you can see, the keyboard becomes different colors depending on your choice. It's great, I've never seen this on a tablet before. It's so nice that they have this option. People that have low vision or struggle with vision, you can change and adjust this depending on your choice. Underneath that, you've got show button shape. So when this is toggled on, this defines different outlines as well for you, which is really good. You then have magnifier window. So once toggled on here, you then have a window that you can move around and jump into. You can also go into the actual setting here. If I just toggle off, a second and go into the setting you can then change and adjust this depending on your choice as well so there's more aspects to this instead of just turning it on and off you can jump in here change it how you want to use it underneath that you have magnification so if we go into here and turn this on okay so one two three three quick taps will take you zoomed into your display and you can really zoom in as well and with the s amoled panel it looks beautiful 
and it really does not blur out and you can really define the text there. So use two fingers to move around and you can pinch in, pinch out very quickly. One, two, three to come back. Tap in three times again will take you back. Then also tap in one, two and then hold on your third. We'll zoom in slightly but just use one finger for navigation but as soon as you release it will take you back home. So that's another option you can use there. The other option here is a dedicated button. So once toggled on, we're gonna hit OK. Down here at the bottom, you've got a dedicated button. So it will highlight the whole panel for you. You tap where you want. You can also pinch to zoom as well. Tapping the icon again, it will then take you back to the normal standard size. Underneath that, you have a large mouse or touchpad pointer so you can use a mouse or a touchpad with your device and add a pointer onto here. You can remove animation so if I turn this on here you won't get the flashy animations anymore it just turns on and off depending on your choice. You've got negative colors which is really good so negative colors is going to mean it's white text on a black background but when you go home it's going to make the other colors as well stand out very different but it might be easier for you to use. So if we go back into our application here we can just toggle this on or off. You've got color adjustments so you can change the color adjustment here depending on your different conditions. So if you struggle with red and green, green and red, you've got then blue and yellow. you have got other colors here that you can change and adjust depending on your eyesight as well. It's nice to have the option and the ability to change that here. And finally at the bottom is color lens. So color lens is where you can really change the display depending on your choice, how you want it. So if it's too white, you can change it. You can change it to different colors. You have a whole range of colors here to just make it your own tablet you can make it the tablet you need it to be for best for your eyesight so you don't get a headache and you can just enjoy the tablet as well. So that was just Vision and that's more than most companies provide in their whole accessibility options. Moving on to Hearing. So inside Hearing you've got sound detectors. So you have different sound detectors. You've got baby, you've got doorbell, then you've got change doorbell noise as well. So it will try and detect if it can hear a baby for you, if it can hear the doorbell as well, which is a really good option there for people that have hearing impairment. Underneath that is flash notification. So you can either use the screen to notify you so the whole screen will flash or the LED on the back of your device where the camera is this will flash for you so you can choose that option there and I think that's a really good thing to have depending on your choice you have the ability to mute all sounds you have the ability to choose either between Samsung subtitles or Google subtitles when clicking into this again you'll get more details Samsung seem to offer more options compared to Google this is Google's quite plain so Samsung have more of a choice and more diversity in your options and that's really good to see as well again you can change it from small to large depending on your choice so underneath that you have left or right sound balance so you can choose the sound depending on the speakers this does have four speakers all tuned by AKG they sound amazing and then also down here at the bottom you have mono audio that was all the hearing settings then moving into the final category is dexterity and interaction so at the top you've got universal switch and this is where you can use switches and interaction devices with your tablets if you can't use your hands so once toggled on we're going to turn this on here it's going to then ask you what you want to use and then you can add other equipment to this making it easier for you to enjoy your tablet as well as everyone else underneath that is an option called assistant menu if i turn this on you're going to find this little box appear down here that you can change and move around but once you turn this on you can see there's loads of options inside here all around the accessibility menu I've already gone through that you can use as well. Just very quickly when you're on the home screen, you don't have to come into the settings here. You can just use this here, which is a great option. And then actually jump into the settings here. There's loads of different options that you can have depending on your choice. You've got touch and hold delay. So you can choose if you want a long, medium or short. Click after pointer stops. This means when you're using a mouse or a trackpad, the mouse will actually click for you without you actually needing to press a command. And finally at the bottom, you've got interaction control. So you can make a certain area just usable for someone. Maybe you don't want them going into the other menus. So you can just set a certain area for them to use. Again, great amount of options there. So that's your three dedicated sections. And then also you have other options underneath. So text to speech, this is where you can change the speak rate and the pitch. So underneath that is direction locks. So this is where you swipe in different directions to unlock your device. And again, it gives you more detailed options. Underneath that is direct access. This is where it gives you direct access straight into different accessibility features that you need. So what it's saying here is pressing the power and the volume key just together quickly we'll either use accessibility settings so let's turn this on and we're going to jump into access so now that's turned on if we go back home here if I press the power and the volume key up 
will jump straight into accessibility settings for me. Save going through the system itself, I can use that option here. That's a great feature to have. Underneath that is accessibility shortcut. This is the one I showed you before, where you press both the volume keys in. You can change the service you want to use. You can either use Samsung Voice Assistant or the Google talk back so it's up to you you have notification reminder so it can give you a reminder of notifications and you can select the applications you want to be notified again about so that as this tablet can make phone calls and receive phone calls you've got the option here of answering and ending calls to answer a call you're going to press the volume up to answer to end calls you can press the power button you have a single tap mode down here at the bottom so this says instead of swiping you can just press to make an action come true for alarms for phone calls and other options. Then one other thing I like here is accessibility settings backup. So if you have all your settings on here, you back them up and if you get a brand new Samsung device, you can bring them all back down. It's all massively done for you without you having to go through all of these settings again, which is a great option here. A couple of other things I want to show you that are not included in here, but are in a different section of the menu is in display. So inside display here, you can change your brightness. Mine's very bright at the moment and it is very bright for this display. And that's really good to have. Some people that are visually impaired either need a very bright display or they need a very dim display. This offers both. So you can go really, really dim here so you can hardly see it or you can go really, really bright. Please note as well, this will actually drain your battery a lot quicker as well, but I prefer it nice and bright. Another option inside here that I really like is the blue light filter. So if you toggle this on, it's like an easy reading mode as well. Actually makes it really easy to read the display. No harsh blue light in here. If we come back home, it's just so impressive that Samsung have put so many different settings in there for so many different disabilities, making you use this device even more and enjoy it as well. And that's a really key thing for me. Also, you can use this in landscape. I've chosen to use it in portraits as it showed more of the details that I wanted to show because of the text size that I've used. Very simple and very easy to do. I've really enjoyed being able to really delve into the tablet and really enjoy the Samsung Tab S4. Thanks to its great array of accessibility, not just for vision, but there's hearing, dexterity and interaction, and a whole range of options there. So well done, Samsung, as always. They are one of the front runners for accessibility. If you do have any questions or queries about the Samsung Tab S4 and its accessibility settings or anything else, please drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks always for watching. Please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all the latest videos from me, Ricky, at Tech Talk. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.